In this video, you're going to learn how to build counterargument into your argumentative writing. Counterargument is when we acknowledge the opposing argument and explain why that argument isn't credible or why our argument is stronger. We're going to start today by taking notes on these two steps. I'm going to ask for you to open your composition notebook to the second tab or the grammar and craft section. Please write down the following two steps. Step number one in building a counterargument. You need to acknowledge the opposing argument. It's important that we ask ourselves as we sit down to write, what is my audience thinking that might influence if they believe my argument? A lot of times your audience members, your readers, are thinking about the opposing arguments as they're reading your essays. A great example of this is the Columbian Exchange essay. A lot of you wrote about the benefits of the Columbian Exchange. And as beautiful as your arguments were, when you were writing about coffee, I was also thinking about how many people died because of the Columbian Exchange. It's hard as a reader not to be thinking about the opposing argument, so it's important that you address those arguments. Step number two, I need to explain why the opposing argument is either not credible or why my argument is stronger. If you haven't taken time to write down those two steps, please do that before you continue with the video. So let's look at an example from my life on a regular basis. So often on weeknights, Ms. Hiroshi and I get together to plan lessons. And we often plan at a coffee shop. And this is what always happens. We sit down to get our coffee or we sit down and we open our laptops to get started. And pretty soon, Ms. Hiroshi needs a break because she gets distracted easily. So Ms. Hiroshi is like, let's take a break and go get happy hour. I love happy hour and there's a new restaurant that I want to try. Maybe, sounds okay, but that's not my response. Here's my response. My aunt, it's 7 p.m. and we still haven't planned our lesson for tomorrow. We have a gazillion things to grade and I haven't seen my husband in weeks. No, we need to work. Although Ms. Hiroshi's idea, her argument, is appealing, right? I love happy hour also. I have a million things that I'm thinking about, those opposing arguments that I'm thinking about as she's saying that. We have so much to do. So what would have happened if Ms. Hiroch had added a counterargument? Would my response have been different? So what if instead she had said, let's take a break and go get happy hour. I love happy hour and there's a new restaurant that I want to try. I know that we have a lot to get done and we've been really busy lately. However, we need to give ourselves a break sometimes. I think that we, we will be more productive after we've taken some time to rest and eat some yummy food. That's a pretty good argument, right? I need a break. I need to rest. I probably will be more productive after I eat. So maybe here's my response. Okay, you're right. I struggle with work-life balance. Let's grab happy hour and then we can bust out this lesson. The counter arguments often help our readers really take a deep breath and embrace our argument. So let's look at an example from an essay, from the Columbian Exchange essay. So I know that I need to address the fact that lots of people died, right? So I'm going to address it in a body paragraph. So let's look at what that body paragraph might look like. The Columbian Exchange had some devastating consequences. There I am, step number one, I'm acknowledging the opposing argument. Millions died of diseases brought over by European settlers. However, so here I'm going to explain why it's either not credible or why my argument is stronger. However, our diet would not be the same today had it not been for the exchange of goods. According to Jared Sacido in an article titled Crops Originating from North and South America, when Christopher Columbus arrived in the Americas in 1492, he unknowingly started a food revolution. Although this exchange had consequences, it, had allow it, it has allowed the diversity of crops that we have around the world today. Crops like peaches, bananas, and sugarcane were introduced, sorry, were introduced, 
to the Americas by European explorers. Crops like peanuts, potatoes, and corn would have never made it to Europe and Asia had it not been for this exchange. This diversity has shaped cuisine and culture around the world and would have not been possible without the Columbian Exchange. So that's what it looks like in a body paragraph. There are several places, though, you can include it in your essay. Option number one, you could include it, like I did here, as kind of the, the, the transition to your third body paragraph. So my third body paragraph was about how it changed or diversified crops around the world. Um, and so if that's my third body paragraph, I could use it kind of as a transition to my third body paragraph. And that is a really good option. Option number two is a little bit more challenging. You can write a fourth body paragraph. Um, you can write a paragraph that is just a counter argument paragraph where you are only in that paragraph addressing like why it's not a credible argument. I'm gonna encourage you right now though to focus just on option one and option three. Option three is also a really good option. Option three is where you're gonna build it into your concluding paragraph. So let's look at what this might look like. The Columbian Exchange had some devastating consequences. Okay, I'm addressing the counter argument. Millions died of diseases brought over, sorry, I'm addressing the opposing argument. Millions died of diseases brought over by European settlers. However, the Columbian Exchange allowed the spread of new types of crops, foods, and revolutionary farming practices. Our farming cuisine and culture would not be the same had it not been for the Columbian Exchange. Although it had some cops, Sorry, some costs, the Columbian Exchange has had lasting benefits in both Europe and the Americas. So as you sit down to write your essays, I want you to think about where can you include counterargument? You need to include counterargument in at least one spot in all of your argumentative essays from here on out. Have fun!